And before I start this video, I want to just let you guys know what I'm playing because I hate it when YouTubers do gameplay videos and then they show them off playing whatever game. And then they, they never tell you what game it is, so you just have to guess what game they're playing. It, I'm sure we've all thought at one point, like, wow, you, 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 you could have just put a little bit of effort into telling us what game you were playing because it looks cool and we want to just check it out. But no, you just have to be a dick and just not tell us what game you're playing. It... I, 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 that's just one pet peeve I have with YouTube, with YouTubers, so I don't want to be one of those YouTubers that do that. So I'm telling you right now, the game I'm playing is Gary's Mod. More specifically, I'm playing Trouble in Terrorist Town. And any of you who have stalked my Steam profile before, you would know that this is the most played game I have on record on Steam with over 535 hours to date. I've been playing this game for about six years, and I absolutely love it. I fell in love with it. It was on sale for... Five dollars one day in the Steam holiday sale in like 2012, and I picked it up. And it's just for the price, it, it just gives you s countless hours of entertainment. I most of those hours have just been on Trouble in Terrorist Town alone, but there's so many other game modes like Dark RP and other role playing servers. If you're into role playing, Gary's Mod is awesome. Uh, there's also another game mode called Zombie Survival if you're into like zombie horde modes. Uh, it's based off of the Half Life 2 engine. Um, but it be it spun off into its own game at a at a point, and oh my god, it's just it's just so amazing. I mean, you can see the gameplay for yourself. Why I just find so much fun in this game, because you just never know what's gonna happen. Uh, and with Trouble in Terrace Town, especially if you're like into mysteries, like who's the traitor or who's the killer. Uh, if you're into mysteries and crime solving and that kind of stuff, it just has all that action. Uh, Counter Strike because you need it. It runs off of the Counter Strike engine as well. Uh, off of the source engine and it uses counter-strike sources assets so if you're into counter-strike if you're into like murder mystery and you're just up for a new experience Gar gary's mod in general though they have a wide for a wide variety of gamers they have so much and i was not paid by valve or or whoever uh makes money off of gary's mod these days but if you're strapped for cash and you're looking for a game that will have real longevity and you won't just get bored of it it's not like a typical shooting game that has a campaign and then when you're done with the campaign there's nothing else to do and if you don't want a game just loaded with microtransactions and all that stuff and you want a good online experience a uh, long lasting online experience that's always fresh and unique uh, as time goes on it, it doesn't get stale it doesn't get old Gary's Mod I highly recommend it might look old you know it was out in 2004 but new stuff just keeps getting added in by the community that it's it's pretty much a community project it's just can't hi can't recommend gary's mod enough but let's not talk about gary's mod the entire video let's talk about the topic at hand which is the future of pc gaming now i bring up pc gaming because a lot of interesting things have been going on right now in pc gaming with the epic game store and discord selling games now steam seems to have some competition and i honestly think that this is going to be a great thing for PC gamers. I know a lot of people who just only use Steam kind of like look down upon Discord or Epic Game Store saying, oh, this is just, why bother? I have Steam. Well, you know, there's a big difference between Steam and services like Origin, or rather the, the difference between Epic Game Store and Origin Uplay and those kind of services. It's because at least they're selling third-party games. These companies just sell their own games and use their own client for it a client that's really not well fleshed out and a platform that's overall is just very poor infrastructure like you ever you ever try to like chat with your friends on origin it sucks doesn't it like would you honestly install origin if it didn't if it didn't pretty much force you to have it for playing certain games but in in this case it's not necessarily the case like they have third party games coming on steam on Epic Game Store. I mean, there's some games coming exclusive to Epic Game Store, but that has nothing to do with them trying to uh, lock it down on their own client. It has to do with, well, this new client having a more fair compensation system because Valve asks a lot of money. So, you know, you can all kind of understand why there are so many different platforms like Bethesda Net or whatever it's called. Uh, then you have Battle.net and you have Origin, Uplay, and Uplay... Ubisoft used to release their games on Uplay and Steam, but now it seems like they're only releasing their games on Uplay from now on, so uh, that, that kind of sucks. But at least these stores are just trying to make the PC gaming market a little bit more competitive because you have 
you have other services that compete with Steam like GOG and G2A, which is a little bit more, which is, you know, has some legitimacy problems because they, they, sell, sol- they sell stolen keys to people. But you do have other stores, Green Man Gaming, for example, but they typically use Steam keys. So it's competition, but it's not really competition. It's kind of like saying that Amazon competes with Sony to sell PS4 games. Like, you don't really think of it like that. It's more of just another option to buy games. Valve and Sony still make the money in that case because it's using, like, the key was bought somewhere, sometime. It's just whoever, like, the vendor, like, Amazon or whoever is just reselling that key. So, um, I think Epic Game Store and Discord can really change the game. If I have to pick which platform has the best chance of being, like, a really close competitor to Steam, I would say Discord is a better shot only because... Epic Game Store is really riding on Fortnite's success more than anything else. Um, and, and Fortnite is, you know, Fortnite's doing really good right now. It keeps growing and growing and growing. But eventually that bubble's going to burst. And guess what? When that happens, no one's going to care about the Epic Game Store. Especially since their whole selling point is, oh, look, we take such a low cut. And now, then Discord said, hey, we're taking an even lower cut. So that's one reason why I think Discord is going to probably be more successful than Epic Game Store. And also... Discord is almost as relevant as Steam in terms of pretty much everyone I know having a Discord, being a member of a Discord server, talking with their friends on Discord. People talk on Discord more than they talk on Steam at this point, I think. So Discord has that user base already. They have that pre-established user base. It's not like it's a new platform, a new startup. They, they've been, they've pretty much been on top of the world for the past couple of years in terms of PC chat clients. It's it, Discord is number one. It used to be TeamSpeak back in the day. Now it's Discord. So I think Discord has the best chance, ultimately, of taking down Steam or competing with Steam, rather. No one wants Steam to be taken down. It's just to have more competition, to make Steam a little bit more, uh, a little bit more competitive. Not you know because really, who's their who's Valve competing with right now? They're competing with consoles, I guess. Like who who are they really competing with? So I think it would be a great thing for there to be more competition. And ultimately, I think this would be great for PC gaming, especially if you're a Valve fan, because if they have a lot of competition and people are moving to, to Discord to buy games, and I, you know, people are laughing at it now, but I do think it will be serious in, you know, the next couple of years. Disc, your big AAA, now they only have indie games, but I guarantee you, because of the huge install base, AAA is, and the low cut that they take, AAA studios are going to get in on that eventually. Valve might have to start making games again to stay relevant. You might get your Half-Life 3 after all, but we'll see. Anyways, it's going to be interesting because the future of PC gaming right now uh, is definitely up in the air. Uh, Not in a bad way, but like who knows what's going to happen with the war between Steam and Discord and to a lesser extent Epic Game Store. But we'll see how things go. Let me know what you think in the comments. And thank you, as always, for watching. I appreciate the growth that this channel has been getting lately. Uh, I really do appreciate it, so... Thank you, and I'll see you guys down the line. Bye-bye.